let's compute this integral. Now, this one I think is the algebra is harder, honestly, than the calculus. Um, it's not that harder, that much harder. It's just it's hard to tell where to start. So you, you look at this, you have an x squared and a 2x. You might be tempted to do a u substitution, but then you have that square root that restricts you from doing that. So what do you do? Well, when you're stumped like this, think about whether or not you could, is there some algebraic manipulation that you could do to change the, the form of this? Can you make it look a little different? In this case, I look at that quadratic and I can, I can complete the square. So set that x squared plus 2x equal to the form x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And of course, this is equal to x plus a squared. And so just by looking at this part, I can figure out what a is. It's pretty simple. In this case, a is equal to 1. And I'll just move this additional 1 over here so that I could say that x squared plus 2x is equal to x plus 1 squared minus 1. And now I'm going to go back to my integral and into my square root and replace this. So now I have the integral of the square root of x plus 1 squared minus 1 dx. And now things are starting to look a little more familiar, but it might not, it might not be that obvious yet. So let's do a u substitution. Let's say u is equal to x plus 1 and du is equal to dx. So rewriting my integral again, I get that the integral is the square root of u squared minus 1 du. Now I can see a familiar form. This looks like a trig substitution and probably the least popular trig substitution, um, a secant substitution. So I can define u as secant theta because I have the form uh, a, sorry, u squared minus a squared, and in this case a is just 1. Um, and then du is just the derivative of secant theta, which is secant theta tan theta d theta. Plugging this all back into my integral, I get that this is the integral of the square root of secant squared theta minus 1 times du, which is secant theta tan theta d theta. Using my trig identity, I can simplify this square root term um, because secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tan squared theta and so the square root cancels with the square so I end up with um, the integral of tan theta times secant theta tan theta d theta and now joining the two tan terms I have the integral of tan squared theta secant theta d theta and I think I'm going to go back again and replace this tan squared theta by secant squared theta minus 1 and so I have the integral of secant squared theta minus 1 times secant theta d theta or the integral of secant cubed theta minus secant theta d theta. That was a lot, but I finally have something that I can integrate. Now, I'm going to split this up into two integrals to make it easier to evaluate. And now, the integral of secant theta, you could either just know or you could compute. Um, I made a video on how to compute both of these integrals, and it does take a little bit of time. They're not that hard but they do take some time so I'm gonna skip that step um, and I am gonna link the videos to this video should pop up on the side um, and just do the rest of the work so the the result of the secant cubed theta d theta 
integral gives me uh, secant theta tan theta plus the natural log of secant theta plus tan theta all divided by 2 and then my result from the integral of secant theta is just the natural log of secant theta plus tan theta plus an arbitrary constant c. And I'm not done yet, unfortunately. I'm done with the integration, but like I said earlier, the algebra here is a little bit of a pain. I started with the variable x, and then I had a u, and then I had a theta. So I need to go back and write everything in terms of x. So I defined u as secant theta earlier, and I, before that, I defined u as x plus 1. So secant theta is equal to x plus 1. And secant theta is also just equal to 1 over cosine theta. And we know that cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So secant is the hypotenuse. What was that? Uh, it's equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And so I can create a triangle out of this. If I define this angle here as theta, then my hypotenuse is x plus 1, and my adjacent side is just 1, and therefore my missing side is just x plus 1 squared minus 1, or x squared plus 2x. And I got this from just what I had in my integral before I completed the square. Uh, the only other trig that I have in my result is tan, and tan theta is just the opposite over the adjacent. In this case, that's just the square root of x squared plus 2x. So before I even rewrite everything in terms of x, I can write this whole thing um, as one fraction. If I just multiply this natural log term by 2 on the top and the bottom, so I end up with um, negative log of, was it, secant theta plus tan theta plus secant theta tan theta all over 2 plus c. And now just plugging everything that I just defined back in, I get that this is equal to the negative natural log of Secant is just x plus 1, and tan is the square root of x squared plus 2x plus x plus 1 times the square root of x squared plus 2x all over 2 plus the arbitrary constant c. And that's it.